What's up my crypto legends? It is the moment of truth to see if this Wyckoff accumulation schematic is going to play out here for Bitcoin. We can see that we are in the final stages of phase C. So it is the moment now for Bitcoin in the next coming days to start pumping. I'm going to show you what levels if we break to the downside and close a daily candle. This pattern will be invalidated and if we break certain levels to the upside then we can see that this pattern might play out okay so we're going to take a look at bitcoin on the one hourly chart some very interesting patterns here forming we can see this head and shoulder formation we broke out the supposed target is coming all the way down to the 32k levels we are forming a descending channel also can this be an abc correction from this one two three four five from elliott wave theory we'll be taking a look at many things here so make sure to stay tuned and also guys something really interesting here on the daily chart we can see the RSI here going down massively making lower highs and the price of Bitcoin making high highs from the beginning of January eventually this had this effect from this capitulation phase but we are starting to make bullish divergence okay so making higher lows and the price making lower lows is this going to have an effect in the short term or in the long term we are going to take a look at this because how long can this downtrend on the RSI go for there will be a moment with that we are going to change the channel to the upside. So we'll be discussing this today, guys. And if you are interested in trading, make sure to check out my favorite day trading platform, PrimeXBT. If you use my link in the description and Bitcoin Census 50 as the promotion code, you're getting 50% in addition of what you deposit. My favorite swing trading platform is Bybit. If you use my link in the description, you're getting $600 of bonus okay and before we start guys make sure to smash up the like button let's try and get this video all the way up to 200 likes and subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell if you're new here and said this let's go straight to the video Hello there, Andy here. Welcome back to another episode of Bitcoin Census. I am not financial advisor. Don't buy or sell anything that I say. If you do so, do your own research. Said this, let's go straight into the chart. This is the one hourly chart here for Bitcoin. And where we currently at now, supposedly, I am still a believer of the accumulation schematic. A lot of people fighting in between. It is not, it is. And uh, this is redistribution. It is accumulation. Everybody has their own opinion. I am still gonna stick that this is an accumulation phase, all right? And this right over here, is the spring point and we are doing the test before going to the upside. We'll be taking a look at this chart here in a moment, all right, to see where we can potentially um, close the daily candle to see if this is still validated. So, um, right guys, zooming in here on the one hourly, we can clearly see that we do have here a head and shoulder formation and we've broken up from the neckline, okay? So um, I wouldn't be surprised if the price now comes all the way back up here, retests the neckline and then comes back down to the 32K levels. This is the supposed measured move, okay? If you get the head all the way from the neckline, from the breakout, it should take us all the way to the 32K range approximately, okay? and. Guess what? This is actually the support, all right, from this channel that we've created here for the last few days. So um, it does make sense that we would actually, you know, bounce from the support also from this other channel, okay, that we've just created here in the last um, few hours. And um, we can clearly see that we are getting supported here right now. So it does make sense that this move is very, very possible. So if I just zoom in here on the chart, we can potentially see that uh, the price here will get um, supported here nicely. We're going to come up and then sideways and potentially have the, the last dump before we actually break out from the channel and break out from the neckline here. So this is very interesting to see for Bitcoin in the next coming hours and the next couple of days. I do believe so that um, this support range from this channel is going to hold very, very nicely. This is the last attempt, okay, from the accumulation in phase C uh, to for the Bitcoin price to get a bounce and continue to the upside. So in my opinion, this is gonna be very good buying um, opportunity if the schematic is going to play out okay so there's nothing guaranteed here 
Also, if we did break out from the channel, we know the breakout from the channel is the width of the channel. If we break out in between, you know, the next couple of hours, this still takes us to the target from this head and shoulder formation. So yeah, everything makes sense that we do, we might come all the way down here. So we might still remain inside of the channel and then come down here and meet the target from the head and shoulder. This is also very possible. So very good, um, this is, um, you know, something to look out in the next coming hours. If we break to the upside, the width of the channel from the breakout, guys, very likely that we come into the $35,400 range. If you watched yesterday's live stream, then you know that, you know, we were taking a look at the 15 minute chart and we saw this descending wedge. I placed the trade and exited eventually because we did met the target. So there was a wedge right over here. We broke out and it was clear, guys, that the 35,200, I was saying, guys, this is quick scalp all the way to 35,000. We know that the target is at the top of the wedge, but we had a quick scalp all the way exited here at 35,200. So um, we were talking about this is gonna be major resistance. We are not gonna get above here. I am looking for a potential ABC correction, which we are gonna take a look at right now. This was also mentioned yesterday um, that this is a very highly uh, a one two three four five wave. Um, once we did the fifth wave, we all, we were already mentioning this. So we have the impulse here from one, this two, then three, four, and the fifth wave over here. And eventually, this was going to exhaust, and we were going to cr uh, create uh, a decent correction. So yeah, we actually did have this nice correction. If we take the ABC correction, we can you know clearly see that this is the A then the B, and then the C. And actually the C can come even lower to the $32,500 range. It can stop here, or it can come a little bit lower. A good way to measure the ABC correction, um, it doesn't always work, but getting the Fibonacci extension from the fifth wave to the A, to the B, and then you could potentially see where the C might end, and at the 100 here of the Fibonacci extension, which take us, takes us to the $32,700 range. Maybe a little bit lower, maybe not even that low. So this is a good way to measure the ABC correction. Uh, now, what can we expect? I think if we do come all the way down to the 32K levels, uh, we are gonna get a massive bounce because taking a look at this accumulation schematic, we are at the final stages of the phase C. And phase C, you can see here on the schematic that we would usually get a bounce at the selling climax, okay? We did have the spring point coming all the way up here, then the first test after the spring point, bouncing at the secondary test in phase B, which was perfect. As you can see, we closed a daily candle above this secondary test. Now the question is, the second test inside of the spring point after the spring point, we should be bouncing in between the $33,000, $32,000 range. So it is important, in my opinion, to close above this range daily candle. If we close a daily candle below the actual spring point daily, and also the first test, the second test should be closing at least above the $31,500. If we close a daily candle, below the $31,000, then eventually this accumulation schematic will be invalidated in my opinion. So it's gonna be a very good couple of days here to see if we are gonna hold here the trend line here from these higher lows, and also if we are gonna to manage to close a candle above the $36,500, which was the first rally after the first test, you know, the second test, and then if we get above this range, which is the $36,500 and close a daily candle, we can potentially see that we are in phase D already in the last point of support and rallying up in the next coming weeks. So very good weeks coming ahead to see if this is going to play out. And another interesting thing is the RSI on the daily. We did create massive bearish divergence while we were going up here for Bitcoin. As you can see, lower highs on the RSI, higher highs on the price action. Eventually, this ended up with this massive drop for Bitcoin. But how long can the RSI go here in this downtrend? There will be a moment where the trend is going to reverse to the upside. And this might take a couple of months because as you can see, we did have bearish divergence right over here. 
but the price was still continuing to the upside. So this could still happen for Bitcoin. The RSI still might be creating higher lows and then the price will be creating lower lows. So it could come as low as $24,000 and the RSI might be creating still higher lows uh, here creating this bullish divergence. So nice good couple of weeks and months ahead of us. I think that da uh, some downtrend is possible, but eventually, you know, the trend on the RSI will have to change to the upside at some point. It might take some weeks, it might take some months, uh, but definitely changing the trend before the end of the year, guys. So something very interesting and clearly see that we are starting to create bullish divergence on the RSI on the daily, which is super, super powerful. Guys, this is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you very much for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you're new, I do daily content on Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. I also do live streams so we can connect with the community to see their favorite cryptocurrency. If you haven't checked out the Bitcoin Census website, make sure to check it out. We've got all sorts of the latest technical analysis, news here. We've got exchange reviews, guides on how to buy Bitcoin, how to trade Bitcoin. The link is in the description so you can check it out totally free. And if you haven't seen my Prime XBT or my Bybit tutorial to learn how to trade, there's a video popping up on your screen. Massive thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next one.